and I'm going to be showing you how to add a glow effect to your scene. And so you can see here I've got my Dog Master, which basically has all of the uh, assets inside the group. And what I'm going to do is add a glow. Now, one thing about glow is that it's going to affect, it's basically going to treat the entire uh, layer that it is attached to as a mat, basically. So if I want to see the character and the glow, I'm going to want to clone my layer. So I right click and select clone selected layers, drawings, and timings. I do that that way. Uh, if I animate my character, the clone will mimic the uh, master that's being animated, and therefore the glow will follow the character. So I'm going to go ahead so I don't get them confused. I'm going to call this dog glow. And what I'm going to do now is add the glow effect to it. And there are a couple ways you can add uh, effects to your uh, scene. One way is to go up to the insert drop down menu, go to effects, and find it there. You can also right click on it, go to insert, go to effects, and find it that way as well. Or you can go to add layers, which is this symbol right here, effects, and glow. I'm going to go ahead and add that. There we go. What I did was basically it added, didn't actually attach itself to the layer, so I went ahead and dragged it to the layer and attached it by dropping it onto the layer. So now you can see uh, there's all sorts of craziness going on with this character. Basically, all his pieces have the glow effect on them. Now if we want to actually see what it's going to look like when it's rendered, we have to exit OpenGL view, which is right here, and go into render view. There we go, and we can see that the character is actually lightly colored. If I turn off the system there, the the layer for the mat, essentially, uh, he goes back to his regular colors. Oops, we got an extra bit right here. Go ahead and get rid of that. Turn off you. There we go. So here is our glow effect. Now, the way we work with that is... Actually, go back to the glow. There it is. All right. So if we go into the tool, uh, the layer properties, we can see that there are a couple of parameters we can mess with. First thing I'm going to show you is the color. You have the color bar right here. You can either change the color numerically, or you can double click on the color bar right here and change it with the color picker. I'm going to go ahead and turn him fluorescent green because that's fun. Um, we're also going to turn on a color card that I made earlier so we can see him a little bit easier. So we can see that the character is indeed glowing this green color. If we want to, we can actually go into the radius and expand that color out past the character itself. So now you can see that it's uh, dispersing the color a little bit further out from the actual character. Now it just looks like he's completely radioactive. We can also change the intensity and now he's basically going into a full meltdown. Um, all of these uh, parameters are actually, uh, you can animate them over time using keyframes in your timeline, which is pretty cool. So if you want to have a character power up, you can bring up the intensity and change the color so it looks like they're either really heating up or really getting ready to do something completely awesome. Uh, another thing we can do, we can actually invert the mat which has a real cool effect. Let's say your character was standing uh, in the doorway of a darkened room and had a bright light behind them. This effect would give you this awesome bright background. And you can see the color leaking into the character, so it looks like he has a core shadow. It's a pretty cool effect. Another thing you can do is use the source color. In this case, because we do have the actual assets as the source uh, matte, for, our, for the glow, we can actually use source colors and it'll kind of make the character look like he's glowing from the inside, kind of like a night light. And the, obviously the brighter the color, the more it looks like there's kind of like a, a fire inside or a, a light source within the character. If you raise the intensity, you can see it changing. Obviously the darker the color, the less that is going to look like it's glowing. And obviously the, with the white parts here, it looks like they're even brighter. Uh, and you'll notice that the 
color part is dimmed out, that's because we're using the source color and you won't be able to change any of that while that is checked. And that is how you use the glow effect.